good morning guys happy thursday uh i told you guys before that i was going to be thrifting today but i'm actually not doing that anymore my friend and i decided because we did go thrifting yesterday together we decided that we're not going today so i'm gonna be home working it's 9 30 i just finished editing the vlog for yesterday so that's going up late which you already know, but that's going up late. It's uh, exporting to my desktop and then I have to upload it to YouTube still. So I wanna talk more about what those buy sell trade stores took. Ow, I just hit my nail. Um, so from the pile I showed you, that Madewell tank that was on top, that like teal Madewell tank, they took that, one of the stores did. Um, I think that cabbie top that I showed you got taken. I'm not 100% sure, I have to look again for that one. The Topshop jumpsuit did get bought. I definitely lost money on it, but that's okay because I probably would have lost money on it either way. They did not take that Ace and Jig dress. Um, the Athleta leggings did get bought. They did not take that Lemon top. Uh, they did not take the Spiritual Gangster top. And I believe they did take the Chaser top, though. I'm pretty sure. So... What's left is just this pile down here. So remember all those bags I showed you yesterday? Out of all of those bags, this is the only stuff that didn't get bought. So I don't have very much to put back into inventory, which is nice. What I'm going to do is um, re-photograph this pile of stuff, whatever is not on my current photo setup. So this is already out of its bag. I might as well do it now. So nobody bought this porridge tank or short sleeve shirt. I think they don't know that porridge is anthropology is my assumption because I think this is pretty cute and they love buying anthro. Pretty much all of my anthro with I think one other exception got bought. So this is something that I believe needs to get re-photographed. Um, sadly, no one bought this. This is the oldest item in my Poshmark closet. It is over a year old. So I'm a little sad that they didn't buy it. It's Alice and Olivia, so it's an awesome brand. It's a beaded dress. I just don't know, maybe like they don't sell these like fancier style dresses. So this is on my old photo setup. So I will re-photograph this and hopefully I have better luck with this one now. Um, they did not take page jeans. These are the Skyline Skinny. I brought in three pairs of page and one pair got bought. They did not take the Millie dress. This is on my current photo setup, so I just need to put this back into its inventory spot. Uh, they did not take logo Lori Goldstein, just purple dress. I'm sorry if you can hear the background. That is um, my video exporting. This is, I just need to put it away. It's already on my current photo setup. I photographed this very recently. It's uh, Paper Moon for Stitch Fix. So that just needs to get put away. All right, here's one of the other anthro that did not get bought. Again, I think they maybe just didn't know brand. This is Little Yellow Button. It also style-wise might not have been what they're looking for. This is one I think needs to get re-photographed. Uh, here's the other page jeans that didn't get accepted. These are black jeans. They are the Vertigo Ultra Skinny. This will just get put away because it is on current photo setup. It is soft shua maxi dress. Uh, this is metal rue, so anthro layered tank. I don't know if they rejected it on style. This, I believe, um, I'm going to just donate, so I'm going to take it out of inventory. It is Diletta. Um, I don't even like style wise, so I'm not really surprised they didn't buy it. So I think I'm just going to donate it. A little surprising in my opinion is no one took a For Love and Lemons dress. I mean, it's plain, but it's an awesome brand. So I don't know. All right. And then just two more things. They did not take this pair of J. Crew shorts it might have been too old for them because uh j crew stuff does say the year on it so maybe they just thought it was too old i think they're really cute but and then more recently listed they did not take this moth top 
but that's it out of everything i pulled out of inventory which was so much stuff that's the only stuff they didn't take i basically offloaded most of what i took to them which means i have a ton of open inventory spots now my priority is going to be to re-photograph the items that need to get re-photographed from what they rejected and then i'm gonna work on shoes today i'm gonna work on um my last chance shoes and some accessories and if I have time, I will start photographing stuff that I bought yesterday. And if not, that will roll into tomorrow slash next week. All right, guys, it's 1045. I'm doing a really good job at not doing a whole lot. Although, like, I've been deleting what sold at Buy Sell Trade stores yesterday off of eBay and Macari. I had just done Poshmark last night. And I don't want to have to cancel orders if something sold that already sold yesterday. So that was an important thing I needed to do. But I'm going to pack up my sales. I'm going to take them to the post office. And then I'm going to run and get a few groceries. My rabbit doesn't have lettuce. So I really need to go to the grocery store. Uh, but I thought I would show you what sold really quick. So first sale is a pair of Miss Me Bermuda shorts. These sold for $28 on Macari. I sold this Beyonce t-shirt. This sold for $19 on Macari. Uh, this Olive and Oak Stitch Fix top sold for $35 on Facebook. And then lastly, this uh, Cloth and Stone Romper sold for $29 on eBay. Oh, not lastly, hold on. These glitter loafers from j crew they ended up selling on poshmark late late last night these sold for 13 dollars so not a whole lot but those are my sales hey guys so i dropped off my packages i went to the grocery store and when i dropped off my packages my not so mystery box came so i have a reseller friend or previous reseller friend we actually say that um, an Airbnb together at Poshfest last year. So she is no longer going to be reselling. So she, in a group chat for all of us who stayed together, offered up her inventory at cost she paid plus shipping. So I bought some stuff from her and I thought I would show you what I bought. I actually got first pick because I was the first one to respond. All right, first piece I got. This is just Zara but I love the pearl detailing on it. So I grabbed that and it is like a short sleeve sweater. Next thing I got, these are Club Monaco. So kind of a brand I wouldn't normally pick up, but I liked the like um, leather or faux leather. I'm assuming it's a faux leather, but it's got like the leather front pants. Yeah, it's a faux leather or a vegan leather is probably how I'll describe it because I feel like that's like the trendy word right now. All right, next I got some Madewell jeans. Uh, these are stretchy in the back. Oh, darn. Okay, I didn't know this. I mean, that might be my fault because I didn't really look at her actual listings all the way. I kind of just looked at cover photos, so... They are stained in the back, so I'll just note that. It's not that big of a deal. All right, next I got some Madewell lace shorts. I like don't even remember everything I picked, so this is kind of fun for me to unbox it too. Uh, this is Elizabeth and James red dress. Rag and bone jeans. These are the legging, uh, size 25. I got some Levi's cut off shorts, 550, which I think is actually like the really popular ones. So 550 cut off shorts. So hopefully those do well. Oh, there's the other shoe. These ones I believe were ones that are my size, so I thought I would keep them, not that I need more boots. Yeah, these are my size, so they're Lucky Brand, they're my size. I didn't know they're a little shorter than I'm used to wearing, but we will see. I'm going to try them on. Oh, she included a thank you card, so let's read that. I'm being really unproductive in listing today, by the way, but you know, whatever. 
Stacy, I hope these do well for you. Congrats on full time. You're rocking it, Alex. So that's where I bought them from. Oh, and then she did include the box. That's exciting. So I got fry shoes from her that include the box, which um, I know she was asking if I wanted the box and I told her it wasn't a big deal unless they were brand new, which they weren't. But I guess she found a box to send the fry shoe box in. So I am gonna polish these up because they're scuffed. But like I said, I knew that they weren't brand new and I'll just use the Dr. Martin balm on them. So there's these. And these are a size, I don't know. I might have to look at her listing. Oh, are they a size six or maybe six and a half? There's a six and then a slash, but it doesn't actually say like one half. I don't know, but that's everything I got. That's pretty exciting that she got the box because I feel like that kind of ups the value of them. So yeah, that's what I bought from my friend who's no longer gonna be reselling. Exciting. All right, I'm trying on the boots that I bought from her and I think I actually am going to list them. They're so short that I wouldn't be able to wear socks with them and normally when I wear booties, I do wear just like these little no-show ankle socks, but those still show in these so I'd have to wear them without socks, which I don't feel like I'm down with that idea, so. These Lucky Brand boots will get listed. I should be productive now. I really don't want to be productive. But uh, when you go full time, you gotta be productive. It's not a choice. All right, I'm actually listing shoes. I've listed three items so far. I relisted three items. There was four of the ones that didn't sell that needed to get relisted, but I decided to donate one more than just that dress I said I was gonna donate, but I wanted to discuss kind of really quick my like shoe listing arsenal, like what I use. I use, um, oh and by the way, I have an Amazon favorite link that's always in the description of my videos if you are interested in purchasing some of this stuff. A lot of it's linked on Amazon, so I use my light box that is in the Amazon favorites. I use two replica surfaces. These are the white marble ones. Uh, I keep a tape measure nearby to measure heel height. So like these, I measure the heel height because that's something that people are going to want to know. Um, obviously I have to have my shoes. I keep my laptop and I will write things down as I go. I keep gloves since I always have nail polish on. I keep gloves to not mess that up because I use 100% acetone to remove Sharpie from the bottom of shoes. Um, it'll also kind of like just clean off dirt, so it's great for that. Oh, I don't have it over here, but I a lot of times use a magic eraser to kind of clean up soles and stuff too, so that's another thing. And then I showed this in a different vlog, but the Doc Martens Wonder Balsam to clean up leather. So, oh, and a Sharpie. If it's a leather sole shoe with a price on the bottom, I just Sharpie over it. So that's pretty much all of my like go-to must-have stuff for listing shoes. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this vlog now. I don't feel like there was a lot on today's, but I ended up getting 15 shoes listed, three items relisted, so not a bad day. And I feel like the great part about listing shoes is they just go on my shoe rack over here. So like all my new ones are already over here, which is awesome. They don't like go in this bucket that I have to then put them into inventory. So like that's the perk, but I'm gonna have to fill this tomorrow. I am going sourcing tomorrow. I don't need to go sourcing because I bought a lot yesterday, but I'm going anyway. I'm going to last chance again. Actually, my friend and I are going back and we're going at open. So I need to be up early. So my plan just for the rest of the day is to shower and go to bed, get a good night's sleep so that I can get up early and drive out there. So I will see you tomorrow. I'll try and show you a little bit more of Last Chance. All right, see you then. Bye, thanks for watching.